Oh, hello, and welcome to the Anxiety Hacks podcast. I am, and our guest today, I'm very excited, is Dr. Tara Perry, and she is a clinical hypnotherapist and a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. With a focus on core trauma transformation, Dr. Perry empowers individuals to overcome their greatest blocks and find confidence and peace. Her 25-year journey includes helping celebrities, Olympians, first responders, and many more. And she's been featured on Lifetime Television, the Los Angeles Times, and Dr. Perry's expertise also led her to teach at California's top acupuncture college and UCLA's Arthur Ashe Center. So tune in as we discuss anxiety and transformation with Dr. Tara Perry. So, Tara, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. So now, um, well, should we just dive straight in? And and we want to hear a little bit about your background um, and then how you help your clients with anxiety. So uh, for 23 years, I did acupuncture and nutritional medicine. Um, I actually worked in the entertainment business, believe it or not, before that at the most powerful talent agency in Hollywood. And um, after years of uh, being in the business and production, and then two years at uh, um, CAA, uh, I I just felt like uh, it was incongruent with my desire to help people. Um, and so uh, I left to study acupuncture, with the t- which at the time was just, it seemed like the craziest thing in the world because everybody wanted to work where I was working. Uh, we had lawyers and MBAs from Harvard and Stanford working in the mailroom for minimum wage. It was that competitive. Wow. And the door was opening for me to work for the top guys in the company. And I just, uh, I, I couldn't do it. I just felt like I couldn't breathe anymore. So um, I called up my homeopath and said, what would I do if I want to do what you do? Because I was really impressed with how he healed people. Um, and as crazy it was, as it was, I went to go study acupuncture and I went to China and studied at one of the top five traditional Chinese medical hospitals two years after Tiananmen Square of all things. Wow. Um, and um, great experience and um, came back and continued the, the healing path and just finding every way I could to help people get healthy, faster, quicker, easier. Um, and nutritional medicine is fabulous and acupuncture is fabulous. And then when I discovered um how to go into somebody's subconscious mind and help them find the root of the problem and then just basically rewrite the program um, because it is a program. It's, I mean, we're very computer like that way, as you know, being a hypnotherapist Um, and, you know, we believe a bunch of things and we operate from a lot of patterns that just aren't true. And they, you know, we're like iPhone 14s operating on iPhone three technology. So it's time to upgrade and um, let go of what doesn't serve us and embrace what we want and what's really more authentically ourselves. I mean, people constantly report back to me. It's like, you know, dropping a 150 pound backpack. They didn't know they were carrying around. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. So, um, so you obviously work a lot with people with anxiety. Um, and so if somebody came to you that had, you know, one of the problems was anxiety, because it's normally sort of like a nice little package that comes with that. <laughs> Um, how would you address that? Oh, um, that's a great question. Um, basically whatever they're uncomfortable with, whatever feeling emotion they keep pushing against, um, whatever that thing is that that it's the invisible block. And I I always say, I, I don't need you to know how to solve the problem. I don't even need you to know how the problem got there. In fact, whatever version of the reality you think it might be, it might be something completely different. Um, so whatever the discomfort is, I mean, I have business people that don't feel comfortable asking for money. I mean, these are accomplished people in high-end businesses and, you know, they just, if you don't feel comfortable asking for what you're worth or what your client is worth, your net worth is going to be significantly less. So, um, you know, the, I just need to know what's the discomfort. What are you feeling? What are you pushing against? You know, where do you feel it in your body? What color is it? Where is it hanging out? Um, and then go to it. <laughs> And let's find it. Let's go to the root of it. Where did it come from? What's the origin? Um, And as you know, there's techniques and methodologies and um, different people have different ways. And there's some, I I, I always say we stand on the shoulder of giants because there's so much available today um, with people who are getting massively positive changes with people. um, And 
I think the key is finding those methodologies, um, somebody to work with, somebody to guide you who, you know, has a strong track record and getting the results that you're looking for. So it doesn't have to be anxiety. I, that's, as you said, that is a, a, a big wrapped up bow for, you know, something's wrong and I'm failing to solve it, uh, emotion. So that's a, that's probably the most common. And out of all the therapies that you, that you, um, work with, what have you found the most beneficial? Well, um, I, I do do kind of a, Which is a, a diff- con- sorry, Tara, it's a difficult question because everybody's different, aren't they? So, you know, they different, you know, different, <laughs> bring different things to the plate. So it's, <laughs> But- yeah, I find I just have collected a giant toolbox um, from having done the acupuncture, nutritional medicine, energy healing. <clears throat> I, I've worked with Marissa Peer, <clears throat> and she's you know one of the best therapists of Britain Award. She's amazing and helps lots of people. Um, I'm very into Joe Dispenza. Um, he's <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> uh, I'm doing my sixth live event with him um, coming up in uh, Florida. And he's doing more than anybody that I know of on the face of the earth to um, look at the science so that when you get into heart and brain coherence, um, heart math started that concept and they've got tools to actually measure that. But when you drop into heart and brain coherence, um, which is that relaxed meditative state, that's why meditation is such a great tool. Um, It's a confusing tool for so many people because well, it's frustrating. Um, a lot of people don't think they're doing it right. Uh, you know, people don't like to spend hours and hours and hours feeling like they're not getting anywhere. So, um, it does help to have some good instruction with that so that you're maximizing what's available. I mean, yes, being still and quiet, um, but, but really having some decent instruction to find that place within that's blocked and stuck and rather than pushing it away, really just going into it, getting comfortable with it, not marinating with it forever, um, but going into it so that it can unwind and, and release. Um, and, and that's that can be difficult and tricky. And I, I do work with a lot of uh, Joe Dispenza people, and, and they're lovely because they understand the power of the subconscious mind already. They already know how the subconscious mind works. They've already dialed into the exercises. There's breath work exercises that are really helpful and important. Um, Vim Hof is famous for getting a lot of that yeah. to the world. Um, if you go check out Vim Hof 11 minutes uh, on breathing, you know, I think 60 million people have seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so breathing is really important. Um, there's breathing techniques that are simple, 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 but it really just helps clear the energy and and get you into that heart and brain coherence. And so, um, so if I could just ask you for a moment, so for our listeners, so what um, what would be a, a simple breathing technique that you would teach your clients? Well, for example, the Wim Hof 11 minute one, I mean, it's already out there. It's on YouTube. It's simple, simple, simple. If yeah. you do that, you will definitely feel a shift. You will feel calmer. Um, the, uh, the, um, uh, it's called the breathing box. Uh, it, uh, yeah. it, Inhale. And I do this for people. I've done this in session with people, you know, if people are freaked out, it's like, okay, let's take, let's do some box breathing for, you know, <laughs> eight cycles. And, you know, it's crazy how much more relaxed you can be just from that simple, simple, simple technique. Um, um, Wim Hof also uses ice therapy, which is, I'm really into that right now. I just did seven minutes. Tell us about that. Um, So uh, he, his story is, is phenomenal. He's, his wife um, committed suicide and he was desperately unhappy and upset. I mean, he couldn't solve her problem when she was alive and then to have her kill herself. And he was a mail carrier in the UK and uh, to save his own psyche um, because he was in so much mental, emotional pain, he turned to cold Um, and when you submerse yourself in cold, I started uh, just taking cold showers. Probably I don't take, I don't turn the heat on with my shower at all in the morning anymore. And when it's 28 degrees outside, it can be, and that's, uh, that's, uh, that's Celsius, you know, below zero. Um, I I mix them up all the time, but cold, (laughs) (laughs) you know, snow on the ground. Um, it's, it'll, it'll take your breath away a little bit. And that's, it's lovely because it, 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 it brings you totally present. Um, 
and and I, my advice when you do this is don't do it as oh I got to subject myself to another cold shower. It's like woo I get to wake up my immune system. I get to you know have my circulation be better. I get to increase my growth hormone. So um, really, just the attitude in which you go about doing whatever your practice is, if it's meditation, whatever you do, <laughs> yeah, anything, whether it's grocery shopping. I mean. Yeah. Just, just instead of saying I have to go grocery shopping, you know, if you say I get to go grocery shopping because I can, it it just lifts the whole experience Absolutely. so much better. So, um, you know, I'm sure you work with your clients and reframing things. It's it's really so much about reframing. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and I think that's that's a great lesson for anyone to hear. Whatever, whatever they may be doing, you know, if they are concerned about going, you know, um. To do, maybe if they've got anxiety and even leaving the house, you know, well, let me let me reframe this and let me change the way I'm thinking about it, even if I don't actually truly believe it. But let's give it a go and see how you how differently you will feel. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, and getting to the root of what's making yeah. you so fearful to go out in the first place. Yeah. Oh, yes. And then change and then reframing the experience. Yeah, that's powerful. Um, so yeah, I, I recently I've gotten into uh, cold therapy. Um, I, you can just go to the store and buy a bunch of bags of ice and throw them in your bathtub. And, um, I purchased eight bags of seven pounds of ice and threw it in my bathtub and jumped in for, I'm getting rather good at it now. So I, I, I did, <laughs> how long can you stay in there for? I did, I did 13 minutes and could have gone longer. Um, a friend of mine has an actual tub that's regulated. Um, so I did seven minutes in his, um, 47 degrees. Um, and again, that's, um, Fahrenheit. I, I mix them up all the time. So we're on Fahrenheit. You guys are Celsius. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes. I, I'm trying to think if I could quickly work that out, but I can't, but that would be very cold anyway. <laughs> Too far above freezing. I mean, it's probably, well, if for us, 32 is, is freezing. Right. And then, so 47, so for you us, know. so Celsius, you double it and add 30. So it's around, it's around zero anyway. Around yeah. that. It's not quite freezing. And, and, and when you get really close to freezing it, the, every degree will change, you know, get your attention big time, but, but it just a lot, it, it makes you, you can't be thinking about tomorrow and yesterday and work when you're in cold, you get really yeah, present really quick. Yeah. And so one trick that Wim Hof uses is to feel the warmth between your hands and your thighs. Um, and, and that was very useful when I started doing this. And I'm not like an advanced, advanced person. There's people that actually get certified in this who go, you know, to, I think it's Greenland and hang out with Wim Hof and, you know, swim in really cold water. <laughs> he, he defied medical science. He's now, I mean, he looks like Superman. Uh, you know, he meditates on icebergs half naked and melts the snow around him and swims under ice. And they hooked him up to all kinds of uh, de medical devices and took his blood and, and they actually injected him with salmonella. And uh, he's, he's so resistant to disease. I know he did his, he didn't even get a fever. Really? Wow. You know, and of course it's just, you know, I teach mindfulness. So it's going to really, you know, there is no choice. It will bring you to the present moment and it will stop you, like you say, allowing your mind to wander off, you know, here, there and everywhere because you'll be focusing on, on the on the present, on the here and now. <laughs> oh, I think we should all try it. So what are, so can you remind us, Tara, of the benefits of practicing this? Of, of the ice therapy? So yeah, Wim Hof would be the expert on that and he can give you a list, but some of the benefits improve circulation, improved mood, um, less stress, less anxiety, um, especially when you combine it with the breathing. And again, that's his sort of milieu. I don't, I, I, I recommend yeah. that go check it out. Um, but I don't specifically teach that. I, I, pe I provide my people tools of whatever is the best thing for them and also what they're willing to do. I mean, not everybody wants to do that kind of therapy, mm -hmm. um, but, but whatever they are interested in, I, I love giving people a whole, you know, as much homework as they want. Some people are super busy businessmen and they're like, you know, I just need to solve this issue and we go and solve it. And they're like, thank you very much, you know, and they get on with their running their business. Um, and then other people just want to come in, take notes, start applying all kinds of things in their lives. So there's, um, a, a variety of, of different 
clients and, you know, you have to be sensitive to what their wants and needs are, as you know. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, absolutely. So what advice would you give people with anxiety? What advice would you give them? Well, if you can work with somebody that has outcomes that are consistent with what you're looking for, um, absolutely. Because if you want to be an Olympian, uh, you need a coach. Um, if you want to, you know, learn to play tennis, uh, it, it, you could go on YouTube and learn how to do a tennis swing and, um, you might get the result that you're looking for, but if you really want to get there quickly and efficiently, it it is great to work with somebody. And it also depends on your need. Um, You know, if you have something that's hurting your health, or if you have something that's making work impossible or your relationship impossible, it's really nice to get those things resolved because it's, you know, cheaper, better, faster to, to resolve it than, than to go through struggling through life with the problem. Um, so if it's, if it's a mild annoyance, then maybe you just want to go on YouTube, take a class, read a book, whatever. Um, if it's, if it's something more costly in your life then seeking out somebody that can guide you, I think is key. Um, because you just, uh, the, you know, there's a wonderful book, uh, who not how, or who not what, uh, but it's, uh, it's finding mm-hmm. the right person to help you through life, not necessarily the right um, formula or the right, you know, uh, uh, text, uh, instruction, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And of course you've got to feel yeah completely comfortable with that person to be able to put your trust in them. And then short of that, I would say meditation is phenomenal. That's really, really, really high on my list. And again, it's kind of frustrating. Um, Dr. Dispenza did a great uh, study, which I was part of uh, a little over, about a year and a half ago in Florida and Marco Island, uh, where he studied the microbiome of participants before and after uh, a week of the program. And microbiome is like the buzzword. If you have a healthy microbiome, healthy gut bacteria that are doing their job to keep you healthy, that's um, a great way to stave off, you know, illness and disease. And uh, our, our microbiomes were measurably better at the end of seven days than they were at the beginning. So seven days. Yeah. Wow. Um, and he's measuring blood levels. He's starting to measure tears because there's scientific evidence in tears. He now has a whole team of scientists that are measuring brain waves. Um, and, and the results, the scientists are just, their jaws are on the floor. They're going, we've never seen anything like this. There are no drugs that do this. Wow. That's amazing. And, you know, um, with regards to mindfulness, they've done so much research on that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and and one of the um, many, many different scientists have done the research where they've done um, MRI scans on the brains beforehand. And then they've taught somebody, people, groups of people that have never practiced mindfulness before. Um, they have them practicing mindfulness every day and then they do MRI scans after the eight weeks and they find all these amazing changes in the brain. So it's the same. So exciting. Just incredible, incredible, all these huge benefits by practicing. Yeah. These different it's free. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty cheap too. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's just amazing when you hear of you know of, of the research they've done on on meditation and mindfulness, and it's just fantastic. And everybody should be practicing it. Sure. Um, and like you said in the beginning, some people don't find it very easy, but it's you know it's understanding it fully, completely understanding it to be able to um, to be able to move forward with it, mm-hmm. how it works. Mm-hmm. And so how else would you help your clients, Laura? Um, uh, goodness. Uh, so meditation, um, uh, nutrition and exercise, two huge ones, because yeah. um, if, if um, and, and I do ask a lot of my clients, well, I ask everybody, you know, how's, what are you eating? Um, if you're eating whole, healthy, organic, um, unfortunately, we have a lot of chemicals in our food now. And, you know, it's really nice to know where your food comes from. It's best to eat seasonally if you can. If you can make friends with a local um, farmer's market or grower um, and just know where your food's coming from, uh, because clean, clean, clean is really important. Um, And uh, don't, you know, 
if, if you're in, if you're in coherence and you're in good, healthy relationship with your body and you're an eating expert, you know, this, you, you don't have to eat to solve your problems and, and eating will never solve any problems except just you're hungry and need to eat nutrition. <laughs> Um, but if you're trying to solve your problems with, you know, sex, alcohol, shopping, um, you know, whatever your addiction is, you're trying to fill a hole that can't be filled. Um, and if you go internal and find out, oh, that's what that hole is. That's what hole, that hole wants that hole. That's, or, or maybe that hole's just, you know, not needed anymore. Um, you know, I, you get the craziest responses when you really get to the root of a problem. Sometimes it's like, look, I I'm just trying to leave. I want to go, <laughs> I'm not needed here anymore. And then other times, you know, my client will say, oh, wow, I didn't realize this energy that I've been resisting and, and hating all these years is actually really, really sweet and it you know and i'm so sad to see it go and it's like well okay but can we let it go and then just have another version of it that doesn't have the baggage <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so, uh, yeah th those would all be um getting enough sleep is really important um you know life is this really interesting balance and we're all sort of in the process of uh, filling the gaps you know we have this ideal version of what we want to be and then how do we fill fill those gaps between where we are and where we want to go um and and being really intelligent about the out the real destination because if we have unrealistic de destinations or the destination is really incongruent with the life that we really want to have um you know it's it's like it's like buying a plane ticket from here to there y you want to know that the there is someplace you really want to end up otherwise you've just wasted a lot of time and money yeah absolutely and it's having that achievable goal and then figuring out the steps of what you need to work through and how you're going to get there yeah and one that's truly congruent with your beingness and your soul which i think a lot of people are really disconnected from and and it's really interesting when people are faced with amazing challenges you know like you know death defying illnesses or things like that um it, it's crazy how that can often force you or me um well in my case it was covid i i you know i had to go internal and really make some changes and it was the best thing that ever happened to me because it 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 it, it brought about a life that i like so much more um and uh you know i've, I've recently talked with people who had uh illnesses that were life-threatening and and went through horrible experiences and um if if we're able to to learn from that um, and and glean what we what our souls really need for that transformative experience, we can look back and, and realize, wow, that's that really it wasn't happening to me; it was happening for me. And what a powerful life perspective shift that is. And I think that's a very good point, isn't it? It's about looking at where you are, looking at where you are, and and figuring out if that's what you really want, and and taking, you know, and maybe taking yourself away from that and experimenting and seeing what does work for you. Um, yes, yes. Um, so now I take it you work online, Tara. I do. That's another great thing that came out of COVID. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I have the the wonderful privilege of being able to work with people all over the world, and um, and that's really nice. I, I love if people are within a two hour radius. I love to see them here at my home. Um, yeah, but for people that live in Europe or South America or wherever, it's really great to be able to just boom, we're here. Fantastic, isn't it? And how can, what's the easiest way for people to find you? Um, probably go to consultterra.com, uh, yeah. consult or, or Nashville Healer. That'll take you to my website. And then you can click on a button that says, let's talk and um, answer a few questions and just see if it's, you know, the right kind of fit for you. Um, and then if it feels right, we can jump on a call and see if uh, um, it's the right fit for you. Cause I, I, I you know, I do, I do find that, uh, I mean, if there, if there's any way I can help somebody and it's, you know, something simple, I will happily give it to them. If it's diving deeper, then let's go that route too. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tara, thank you. So all the uh, links will be in the show notes below anyway. Fantastic. And I do have a podcast called Next Level Healing. And uh, I love the interviews that uh, have shown up. And um, it's it, I, I it, we're living in such an interesting time where we can all connect and learn from each other at, at this mm-hmm. level and find, you know, our niche and, and, you know, uh, people can go and see what resonates with them the best. And it's it's kind of an exciting time. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's just, it's so easy to be able to do that, which is fantastic. So, well, Tara, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me on. It's a delight and a privilege. And um, I love that you're helping people with anxiety and eating disorders and, you know, all those horrible feelings that can drag people down for a lifetime. Yeah. Well, thank you. This has just been so, um, was such valuable information for people with anxiety. So a huge warm thank you to you, Tara. My pleasure. Well, it's an honor to meet you and um, I hope I hope our paths cross again soon. Yeah, thank you, Tara. And thank you to everybody for listening. And before we go, make sure that you subscribe to our podcast on Apple iTunes or wherever you may listen. And I look forward to speaking with you in the next episode.